Our cities across the globe are being cloned one by one. Oh, well, not physically, but digitally, with a digital twin. But what is a digital twin? And how will it improve the cities that we live in and help build better ones in the future? They go beyond a simple 3D model, map, or enticing buzzwords. A digital twin, in simple terms, is a near real time virtual representation of a real world asset or system. Architects and designers can already build complex 3D models, but digital twins allow the ability to create simulations with near live data feeds. Unlike a digital model, a digital twin remains dynamic. When mentioning virtual environments, the metaverse often comes up with videos of avatars running around in fantastical environments, or virtually floating around with Mark Zuckerberg. Be the robot, man. I thought I was supposed to be the robot. <laughs> the metaverse will undoubtedly play a part in this future and integration. The digital twin goes beyond imaginary and playful worlds, the highly intelligent and accurate representations of the real world which have a tangible impact on how we live in our cities. With this said, it might not be that far-fetched to consider that one day, digital twins or our cities will be integrated into the metaverse to allow us to actually live in our cities digitally. But before we look into the future, we'll take a quick look at its origins. Physical twins have actually been in existence throughout humanity's history. Physical twins have been abstracted in the past as simple representations. Examples can include prehistoric man sketching in the dirt, or scale models of cities. As digital technologies developed, it was inevitable that a concept of using physical replications, or twins, would move into the digital realm. The first use of digital twin is quite commonly cited to be used on the Apollo 13 space mission by NASA back in the 1960s. Are you coming out about? Although disputed, with both physical and digital counterparts, it's still a great example to demonstrate the benefits of simulating a space mission on Earth through a copy. The idea of digital twins was introduced far later in 1991 by the computer scientist David Gilander in his book Mirror World. Although the concept was formally recognized in 2002 by Dr. Michael Greaves in the University of Michigan, who to this day is a pioneer in digital twins. Since then, the growing application of this technology through various industries has resulted in it being a core technology in the fourth industrial revolution. This is defined by the convergence of technologies including artificial intelligence and advanced robotics, which erase the boundaries between the physical, the digital, and the biological worlds. The applications of digital twins are immense, ranging from automotive, power generation, manufacturing, aerospace, healthcare, engineering, and of course, the main focus of this video, urban planning. The global digital twins market is projected to reach 73.5 billion by 2027. In relation to our built environment, digital twins can be applied from building level in design phase during construction and post occupancy. It helps simulate structures, forces, and construction sequences to predict and analyze events, solve problems even before they occur. Digital twins can then scale up to even encompass our entire planet, which NVIDIA is currently developing. They are simulating with high resolution what is happening on the Earth with all the phenomena that help predict and combat climate change. You may have heard the term IoT, or the Internet of Things, mentioned a lot when data and digital environments are mentioned. In essence, this just refers to a network of physical objects, devices, and appliances that are embedded with sensors and other technologies. This allows them to collect and exchange data over the internet or other communication networks. These things can range from everyday household items like refrigerators to urban scale technology and sensors. As digital twins increasingly incorporate AI and machine learning, they will evolve from conceptual tools, become more intelligent and autonomous as software capabilities expand. We have covered quite a lot of technology and concepts surrounding digital twins. So now we'll look at a few live examples of how these concepts all come together at a city scale. The Wellington Digital Twin in New Zealand, built for the Wellington City Council by Build Media, uses technology and data to provide real-time urban studies, which are all represented in an interactive visualization through the game engine Unreal. 
18,000 buildings were modelled and textured with accurate terrain. The model communicates with sensors distributed across the city that are connected and able to read live data. The smart city technologies with accurate real-time data provide transportation statistics, air traffic visualizations, car parking availability, and even cycle sensor data, including how many trips were made in a time period, direction of travel, and which streets cyclists travel on. All these tools proved valuable for efficient management of the city. On an even larger scale, Shanghai, a city with over 26 million residents, was captured within a digital twin by the software company 51 World. They individually modeled over 20 landmark structures, including the Oriental Pearl and Shanghai Tower, and used data from satellites, drones, and sensors to generate digital versions of countless other buildings, roads, waterways, and green spaces. 3,750 square kilometers of the city will be continuously updated in near real time. Korean internet giant Neva is focusing on creating massive digital twins for mega cities like Seoul. Neva developed a solution called Alike, which uses aerial images, mapping robots, and AI to create 3D models of large scale spaces. Thousands of photographs obtained by scanning an entire city are restored into a 3D city through photogrammetry. This 3D model can be used as a simulator to address various urban issues and serve as key data for smart city development. In combination with AI technologies such as deep learning and computer vision, data can be automatically extracted. For these examples, you can see that games engines like Unreal and Unity are playing a large role in visualizing these complex city systems, as this interactivity makes it more easy to understand for the average person. It can be used from a simple screen such as your monitor or tablet, or more immersively through XR devices. These immersive dives into our digitally cloned cities will become more common as these portable devices improve. We are already seeing leaps with the release of Meta's Quest Pro VR headset and Apple's Vision Pro earlier this year. By navigating with your hands and eyes, digital twin apps within these devices have a dimension reacting to light and casting shadows. These spatial experiences are augmented by sensory technologies so scenes look, sound, and feel like they are physically there, making the digital twin seem real. Progressive cities across the globe are now getting on board. ABI research predicts that there will be more than 500 smart city digital twins in operation by 2025. Cities are discovering the benefit of digital twins for planning, operational management, cost savings, and sustainability. Potential applications include simulating entire neighborhoods and cities, impact organizations, businesses, and test certain government policies. With over 50% of the global population residing in cities, and the urban population expected to double by 2050, cities face significant challenges in reassuring safe and sustainable communities. These digital twins empower city leaders with valuable insights and actionable data to enhance residents' quality of life and bolster cities' sustainability and resilience as both the digital twin technology and how we interface with them improves. In the future, we may all find ourselves in a digital clone of our city.